Hello, everyone. It's Aiden here with yeah. another episode of Clean Freak. We're going to have a special episode today. And today I'm very excited to introduce uh, uh, Kenny Cottrell. I'll, I'll tell you what he does in a second, but he's got some unique technology that, you know, in the day of COVID um, is, is, is uh, more heightened. People are very, very much looking for new technologies. Uh, Kenny is Director of Operations for Nevada Biohaz DCOM team out of Nevada. And uh, Kenny, how are you doing? I'm doing great today. Thanks a lot for the invite. Uh, looking forward to it. So uh, before we kind of get into the technology and stuff, because I think it's something that's great to share and, and, and make people aware and what have you, um, most of us don't start off, you know, looking to get into the cleaning industry. We, you know, usually have some other type of thing. We fall into it. What happens? Uh, what, what happened with you? How did you find yourself here? Uh, well, you know, my background is actually uh, construction. I uh, worked for a general contractor four years. I probably built, about, personally built about 20, 30 houses. So when the whole COVID uh, scare hit, I was looking and starting like a, like a restoration company doing uh, mold and mold and uh, flood and fire damage. Uh, and part of the mold uh, certification has to become virus decontamination. So once April, like April 1st, literally, we decided to start Nevada Biohazard with the emphasis on trying to see how what we can do to uh, combat the COVID the COVID nineteen pandemic. Okay, so so were you were you planning this, or did uh, COVID hit and then you planned it? Like, was it something you were working oh, towards? COVID, or? I was looking at going into restoration, but when COVID hit, it was like a sign to me. It was like, oh, we, I got to make this happen now. So yeah. my, so. One thing about uh, um, with restoration, you start dealing with like mold and funguses, and at the same time, mold and fungi you have to deal with disinfectants. So, because of that, that's what made me want to really get into looking into what kind of products, what can I do to survive this COVID? Because you know, when COVID first start, everything start closing. Like uh, most, most you have to be like a an essential business just to be working. Then essential businesses were looking for disinfectants. They're looking for people coming and clean it. And we just found an opportunity. We, we we just jumped right into it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's kind of position really a little bit about restoration because not everyone that's watching this, you know, they, they get janitorial, yep. uh, they get cleaning and you do that, but restoration has a kind of its own niche as well. And you're going to go outside of that. So it's rip and tear. And I know the process, yeah. but yeah, let everyone know about the process and how you, how you do what you do. All right, so restoration starts like two different, like a few different ways. So like, what is what? First is water restoration. Water restoration is like a pipe burst in the house, the toilet overflows, and all the sheetrock can comes wet. So what we do, we come rip out the sheetrock, bring a dehumidifier, we bring a air scrubber to scrub the air, and we just try to make sure that to, um, to minimize the amount of mold spores that can grow because due to the moisture. Uh, I'm a mold inspector and contractor, um, and that's 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 the main part we do with the mold inspection. We also do fire restoration. Where's a fire, house burns down, or you know, thing with when, when the fire department comes, they really don't care. They're gonna throw water everywhere. You're still gonna have like open wall space, water everywhere, and the same thing. We cut, we dry out, we make sure there's nothing in the wall, and if there's an odor in there, we'll run a hydroxyl generator or ozone generator, to, uh, which will split the hydrogen atoms, make sure like we remove the the malfeasance odor that is permeating throughout the house. Um, other part we do, we do, um, uh, suicide cleanups, uh, trauma cleanups. That's like one of the things that we specialize in being in Las Vegas, uh, a lot of elderly people. And just when someone dies, you know, when they die, people they, like the whole bodies defecate. So once the coroner come picks up the body, we have to clean up the blood, clean up the, 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 the oil, the oils and a uh, fluid, the bodily fluids that are coming out, uh, body. So we, we do that as well too. Um, and then we do uh, commercial janitorial, which is we start, and this is how we got really into the PreventX and the disinfecting part, because we start doing, uh, looking at from doing from schools, healthcare facilities, uh, a lot of small businesses, warehouses. So that's how we kind of got, that's our niche. Like we're pretty well versed, but we, we, we're, we're pretty busy right now as well too. Yeah, I bet. I bet. So uh, in the restoration, what, about 80% of your, of their jobs are, Roughly, from my understanding, roughly water, and then you have fire, flood. Yeah, that, is water, that about water, right? Water, or? Yeah, I, I would say sixty percent water. I have a lot of biohazard. Uh, I have a lot of biohazard stuff. We work, um, like I said, we work with the coroner's office. 
and then fire fires not so much we had a couple of fire we had a couple of fires uh, we did we sent the crew out to california where actually have the we own california biohazard as well too where we did a couple of fire uh restoration projects outside of riverside okay Okay. Yeah, I used to be quite entrenched, well, uh, somewhat entrenched in restoration with uh, Rochester Midland. There, there was I no longer part of it, but there was uh, someone else's the restoration division, okay. and, and they, yeah. So, so I got IICRC certified and yep. you know the whole bit. So okay. So now, one of the main products that uh, a restoration company uses they use some some. Uh, uh, degreasers and and things like that, but the, the main product they use, especially to finish off jobs off water damage and things like that, is uh, is signing off with a disinfectant. Correct? Yep. Correct. So once everything is cleaned up, you want to make sure like like the once the mold, we know we got the mold removed, we got you know we get the mold removed off the surface. We want to make sure the surfaces are clean for the guys to go back and uh, seal it back up. Whether they put a new sheet rack back down or as they're talking to the flooring, we're talking about this. Uh, New fixtures. We'll just make sure everything is clean. Uh, everything is clean. So with us being doing so many projects, we looked into getting into like uh, partnering with uh, certain disinfecting companies. We start and we start buying stuff in bulk. Okay. And that's what led us to become like looking at finding out what's the best product. I've talked from Hilliard. I've talked to Clorox. I've talked to um, uh, Ecolab. We're trying to figure out all who have the best, and that also at the same time, who has the most uh, in in stock. At one point, they're there had there wasn't enough there was enough demand for like the quantities and we're still kind of running into some of those problems where the some one school system might, might buy everything so we start uh hedging our doing the same thing uh finding out who has the best product and whoever, whoever the best product is we'll just buy in bulk so we can make sure we can make sure we're providing a quality uh service to our our customers okay okay yeah so let's dive a little bit into the um into uh, the, the the disinfectant predominantly. Now, let me just preemphasize that when we first met uh, and talked about you being on the show, I didn't I didn't realize the the product that you you had. And as I did more investigation, I'm somewhat familiar with the product, or at least a product very similar to it. So there's some big claims about it. So oh. let's dive down. Let's start with a forty thousand foot view about what you know. What is it from the forty thousand foot view, and then we'll start right, diving in. First, we'll start from the beginning. Our product, like first, we'll start with disinfectants. Most people disinfectants is, is the is a is basically a chemical that can kill the virus bacteria on the surface, and it only works when it's wet. Uh, typically, they have the well times that most people don't adhere to, but they have the well times anywhere ranging from one minute on certain products all the way up to ten minutes, all the way up to ten minutes on other products. So after the product is wet, it dries. There's literally not, not, not much more protection. You might get an extra two to 15 minutes out of it. But once it's dead, once it's dry, there's really no uh, added protection. And with this COVID strain going on right now, we start looking at someone cough, someone puts their hand on something, and it just recontaminates the surface. What was the point? So we start looking for, like, what, what can provide me some type of shield during this process? So we found this product called PreventX 24-7, uh, which is technically is an antimicrobial surface barrier. And what it is is applied through with an electrostatic sprayer. It, it covers the whole surface. You allow it to air dry. And after it's dry, you have this invisible shield, which has all these little microscopic needles, whereas uh, most uh, viruses are lipid membrane uh, cells. And when they, when they fall onto the surface, they be in, become impaled by the, the, the microscopic needles killing it instantly, whereas doing a mechanical kill, as opposed to like what what I, which we're seeing right now is all these disinfectants with the chemicals, the 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 virus is starting to mutate. So we're trying to figure a way that one we can uh, slow down the mutation into these antimicrobial surfaces. Where they, they last for like thirty to ninety days per application, depending on what your dilution rate is going to be. Okay. Okay, so before we start diving a little bit about it, you've kind of positioned it a little bit. Let's uh, let's set up the uh, and what let and let's watch the video. In today's awesome. world, proper sanitization protocols are more important than ever to maintain a healthy surface environment. Frequent disinfecting doesn't cut it because even doing this ten times daily, surfaces are unprotected over ninety-five percent of the time. How are we different from other products? Disinfectants work while wet, but once dry, offer no further protection, leaving surfaces ready for recontamination until they're disinfected again. 
Preventex 24-7 is not a disinfectant. It's a bacteriostatic, continuously protecting surfaces against germs, mold and mildew for up to 90 days depending on surface use. The compound in Prevent X 24-7 is safe to humans and is non-toxic, non-leaching, non-hazardous, and doesn't promote the growth of superbugs. Prevent X 24-7 contains an EPA-registered antimicrobial that protects surfaces from over 100 independently laboratory-tested pathogens and offers continuous surface protection against cross-contamination. Preventex 24-7 contains a static agent approved for use on both hard and soft surfaces, including fabrics. Future cleanings become easier, and treated materials last longer for a return on investment. Available in an affordable, fast, and convenient spray and wipe or spray and walk away. Applications are sold in ready-to-use and three times concentrate. We provide product and education to all types of customers, direct and distributors. Order yours today. To purchase, visit www.newerasos.com forward slash shop. <laughs> All right. So that's the video. Um, so let me tell you a, a story about because we're going to dive, dive into it. Okay. Um, the first time I heard about this, <clears throat> the, my initial thought was BS, right? My initial thought was Ah, come on, it's claims, the, the, the claims. But then I know someone that I highly respect in the industry uh, whose cleaning company has embraced it and has a division going after it. So as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, it allowed me to take a, uh, you know, take a, a deeper look at it. Um, so what is there about it that allows it to protect, let's forget 90 days, say 30 days, like, like as soon as I put my, like as soon as I touch like sit on a toilet seat and I, I let's say and I I put my bum down, how is that protected? So what is it that's it's doing that's unique? Like I was saying, uh, I started to say it earlier. So it, it's 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 a it's it's a if you apply with a uh, electrostatic sprayer, it's going to covalently bond to the surface, meaning it's not, it's not going to just move after it dries. And then it's like a, it, it has these little little mini microscopic needles. That just it just protect like anything that falls on, on top of it. It impels it, killing it. And 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 that would that, that that's the case. It's like the only way to really like like to like uh, the break the shield, as I call it, is to scratch it. Well, they have a, they have the preventive SCT, which you can replace the barrier, replace the bot, replace the bonding molecules. But that that was the thing. It has a it's it's a glycerol base, which means it doesn't wipe, doesn't wash off. Because this product's been around for about forty years. Uh, Dow Chemicals actually de uh, developed this back in the 90s. I mean, uh, 80, back in the 80s. And recently, uh, Gensco purchased the patent and they had the glycerol base, which allows it to like be attached to different surfaces and it stretches. Like I can apply it to fabrics, I can apply it to carpet. Like this is a really strong, like, and it, it's a really strong covalent bond uh, that adheres to the surfaces, which, uh, like I say, it provides a, a superior protection. Like it, it, it just those little needles that are out here protecting it. It's protect it, it. It's impelling, killing everything time after time after again. And as it doesn't come off, because like I say, it covalently bonded to the actual surface. So if I hear you correctly, it's kind of like a Scotch guard, but in the disinfectant form. The Scotch guard kind of covered yep. the carpet fibers, kept yep. the carpets from getting dirty, cleaned easier. Same that's type of idea. That's exact. That's exactly how. That's the best way to describe it. This is a Scotch card. Okay. So, um, uh, who's this? Who's this? Is this best for restoration? Is it best for housekeeping? Uh, it's best for residential. Both. It's best yep. for both. So, like I, on the restoration side, I use it primarily because I'm always big. I'm scared of mold growth. Typically, yep. when you have uh, mold growth, you might have black mold. I've seen the bad parts of. I've seen a family that actually had a. It was actually back in Georgia when I was doing working for a general contractor, where the family got so sick that the mold got into everybody's lungs after a flash flood, and that's kind of like how I really start understanding like what the what, what mold really can do to get left unchecked. So when we do our mold damages out here, when I became a mold inspector, I'm really big on like we tear everything out, anything in the joist. Let's go say we treat it with the antimicrobial to make sure it inhibits and stops the growth. It has some crazy, really amazing features that that this most other products don't have. Like if I spray this stuff, I know the mold is growing in here. 
uh, a personal thing that we did in our office. We we uh, actually individually tested like uh, our surfaces ourselves. Like I've done doorknobs where like my handles might get dirty. I've done like the coffee pot. I know most people in the coffee pot. I'm a neat freak. There's always some mold growing in the pot right if you don't dump it that same day. So I say, you know what? There's a lot of mold in here. Let me just take. Let me just see if this thing works. I sprayed it, left it wrong. We have nothing. Nothing can grow in this pot, it's, and it's been like almost six months for it for that pot. But it's just it has really good applications. Another one is like uh like uh tombstones. Like we looked at tombstones at a place down in uh, New Orleans. They did a, a a test where they placed them applied it to one uh, tombstone versus another one. One is all gray. The other one is, is completely is completely safe. Um, and that and like I said, it's a it's a mold inhibitor. Like I use my bath, I use personally my own bathtub, my, my own bathroom where I take showers at, where like you might get the white uh, mildew film. If I spray it on, it's not gonna grow. I, I, I can, it's not gonna grow back. It's an amazing product. I was kind of skeptical at about what it can actually do. So uh, I've been uh, using this product for almost eleven months now. And I'm just surprised. This, this is by far like the best product on the market. It's a it's a game changer. And also, if you're trying to stay in business, like uh, one of another companies that we use, uh, that we service, is a company called uh, La Pisa Milk. It's, uh, it's a spa out in Henderson, Nevada. The owner is a really good guy, and he came and said, "Kenny, I'm just trying to stay in business. I, the, the the board doesn't know what they really do want to do." I was like, "Well, I came to with my ATP meter, and I like it's like well." The your face place where your oils come out of your face as you're lying down on the massage table, it's going to have a lot of oils. That was like the dirtiest part. So we did the ATP test. I actually got a YouTube video on it. I, I'll, I'll send it to you later. If and we did the test, it was about twenty eight hundred. Uh, after we cleaned it, disinfected, I got it down to like two, and that. So you think that's the end that we got it clean, which is normal. That's what disinfectants do. I come back, you know. I mean, he, he pays. A, he, you know, we give him a disin. Dis dis uh, certificate of decontamination. I come back, you know, ninety days later. So I got a new customer. Maybe I'll come back and get a, a re, a get a, get another get a check from him. Tell me why it was it it, it it's still at at at, at this place. That wasn't at two, but it was at thirteen, which is well below the cleaning services. The product is still working. We tested the the front door, and it's still protecting, it's still it, it, adhering to there. So it's like I, that's what I like. This product really works because. This wasn't like a product that's in my office or somewhere in my office that's maintained. Like this is a whole. This is another company's. They have their own cleaning regimen. But after we found something that was really high, we cleaned it. This product was still protecting over and over again. And then we did it. We did. And uh, we did another one on his truck. We uh, cleaned his truck, disinfected his truck, just the steering wheel. I tested it ninety days later, and his normal hands on the steering wheel is still below the uh, the threshold. So, like I said, this is a powerful, powerful product. That, that most people just don't know about. I mean, they've been using the private jets for like the last 40 years. Air Force One uses it. Um, the Miami Heat um, Arena uses it. The Miami Dolphins Stadium uses it. Tenant Healthcare has 800 uh, uh, healthcare facilities that uses it. So it's starting to gain traction, but it needs to be, it needs the word out there. Because like, if I can like reduce um, the amount of bacteria and virus just like 30, 20 percent. Think how many lives I'm saving. And then we're talking about cleaning procedures. People are always people are always worried about someone coming and cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Like I go to the uh, the casinos out here in Vegas. I'm constantly people cleaning, clean. Well, what happens when they're not cleaning? They might clean every hour on the hour, but that's labor and efficiency. If I can use this product, if I start disinfecting them more, and I use this product, even if I use the product once a day, which you don't even need to, but if I use it once a day. I can come back with my ATP meter and measure every single spot to make sure it's it's going to it's continuing within the threshold. So a lot of these businesses, especially we're going to have high volumes of people, like people having festivals, people like the concert facilities, they need to use this product. They need to make sure we can do everything we can do to get back open to go back into like our no, our normal routines. And it's going to be up to like the business owners and uh, the big decision maker for these these large venues uh, to like do what you got to do, like to try to help protect these people. And then also today we're mitig we're mitigating risk as well too. We're helping people mitigate risk of uh, potential lawsuits where people might get sick from. You know these guys want to sue people all the time for like they get, they're getting affected. But it's like I said, I stand by the product. I'm very impressed by it. Okay, so um, let's let's put it through the process for the average person watching. Um, you walk into a bathroom. Okay, it's a it's a dirty bathroom. Um, What's the what's the process you're gonna use? Like, what's the I'm gonna do a step better. I'm gonna do a step better. All right. 
I'm gonna go grab the parts. All right. Uh, first up, we're gonna use. First step is our disinfectants. Um, I personally like using uh, Hillier products. This is QT Plus. It has a three minute dwell time. This is actually a concentrate. So we use this. We'll clean the bathroom. How we typically clean it. Clean it, spray it, let it wait three minutes, uh, come back, wipe all the way down. All right. Afterwards, then that's where most people stop. That's where typically most people stop at. Well, we're going to do we're going to take it to the next level. We're then going to use the Prevenix SCT. Prevenix SCT is used to really move, move any existing fingerprints or any type of oils that are left on the surface. Because this effect is sometimes still leaves the oils on the surface. So this is like like almost like a a super super glass cleaner too. It's a it's a it's a non hydro it's a it's a hydrophilic cleaner. After we do that, and it also a good way to like to prep the surface to make sure that when I put the uh, the secret sauce or the Revenix uh, twenty four seven, it's going to adhere for it's going to be make the surface clean so it, it'll stick to when it conveniently bonds. Okay. Then we use good old twenty Revenix twenty four seven. This stuff is like the secret sauce and the money maker. This stuff, we, we sprayed this with a, an electrostatic sprayer. We let it air dry. And after the surface clears, I can come back and do, of course, I, I like to do my pre and post test with the ATP meter. Show you like what it was before, what, it, what the contaminant load when I cleaned it. Then after I clean it, and then it just works for like 30, 30 to 90 days. I typically like to uh, test surface like once a week was one of our contractor jobs or once a month was one of our contractor jobs just to see where it's at. Majority, it's uh, like... 95% of the time, I don't need to come back, but that's that, and that's literally it. So, I and like I said, we still continue your, your normal daily routine of using your disinfectant, which would be your disinfectant. I like to do at the end of the day, all you're not worrying about is like because this is covalently bonded to the surface, you're not having to have to clean it's not going nowhere. You can put as many times you clean as much, as it's not going to go nowhere. So, it, it's just a it's just an amazing product that. It lasts the cleaning the surface. It, it, it lasts that long, so that's like the that's the one two three step. Like it's a three step process: disinfect, prep, and protect. And then, so does this work for everything? This is tabletops, keyboards, mouse, water yep. fountains. Yeah, Every, everything. Like everything. I've I've used you use it on fabrics. We use it on uh like drape. We use it on drapes. You can use it in the carpets. Uh, you can use it on any surface. It has a uh. Uh, keyboards, um, my desk, everything, anything like, this, like a surface that can be wiped down, we treat it. Whether we use from toilets, seats, and everything. So, if, if what I'm here, so if I if I'm hearing you right, what you do is you, you do the clean, the disinfect, clean, the the prep, the twenty four seven, and then yep. uh, and then if you did nothing, so you did the toilet seat cover, the yep. toilet seat, and you did nothing, and you came back three days later, and everyone's sitting on it and whatever. The, the nothing's adhering to that toilet seat cover. Correct. As long as it's not being scratched, like you know, like scratch, like like yeah. it'll, it'll scratch the uh the barrier. No, it won't. It'll 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 stay there. Especially if it's like a high traffic. If it's like a high traffic area, like the middle of the seat, it'll be fine. You know, what I'm saying only thing I can worry about is like you up and it down and like open it down. And that's why you want to uh, still want to have like the daily routine. But we're talking about I can come in here with an ATP meter and literally test and see what everything what what how everything is. Okay, so I get it. So it's like it's 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 like it's a barrier, and and it, it's it killing something. So it's on the surface. It's on the toilet seat. A virus hits that, hits it, and it impels it. Impels it. What yep. happens to the virus? It just stays on the top, it or stays on top and it disintegrates down. Go once like it's a fat. It's a it's a it's a soft membrane of the lipid. So it's just going. It's microscopic. So once it hits down there, it's just going to go. It's just going to the guy's just going to die out, and this it's going to like. It could stacking, 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 stacking. Okay. And so, uh, how is this? How is this sold? Is this ready to use product? Is yeah, it, we, get, we can sell. There's two. We have, we sell ready to use. We sell it uh, in concentrate, three times concentrate. Um, those are two ways you can buy it. Okay. And we got and, it in, uh, I got it in one gallon. I got it in uh, 55 gallon drums, um, and I have it in uh, 32 ounce spray bottles. Okay, so lots of different formats. Now, uh, um, one of the last couple of questions here is um, uh, one of the things in sales we can say anything, right? So you got certification back up. Who 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 says that? Who endorses this? 
Um, I I have Gensco. I have scientific. I have a scientific test I can send to everybody. I got research on the product. I got the EPA where EPA registered uh, a fungicide. Um, I'll be happy to share any of the, the scientific research the, that, that that clinical trials that show that this product works. Like I said, we, not only do we stand behind it, I'm 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 always showing people like look at look at the data. And then, like yeah. I said, just call me. I'd love to come. I I love to come 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 to uh do a demonstration for you. That's like my favorite thing to do. Is like because like the proof is in the pudding. Like the eight, I, 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 people can say anything you want, but ATP meter is not gonna it's not gonna lie to you. It's going it's it's it's, it's just math. <laughs> it's science and math. They don't lie. Thousand percent, absolutely. If uh, um, AT, if the ATP, uh, the meter, ATP uh, meter uh, reads it, yeah, proof's in the pudding. So um, you're only in Vegas. How? Um, so you can only do so much. Uh, uh, where's your company located? What location? Uh, we're located in Las Vegas, but we're nationwide. We're, we're nationwide distributors. Like you tell okay. me, we'll ship it. Uh, like we're close. We're, if you want more of it, we're, 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 we work very close with the manufacturer. Um, there's no project too big for us. Uh, like I said, the, the product is also being used at the, the Tennessee State Capitol, University of Tennessee, um, Americold, uh, a few medical facilities out here in Vegas. Like I got uh, Archdiocese of uh, Nevada has tried us out. Um, a, a private school in Atlanta has tried us out. It, it's like a, it's, I, I've been pretty, pretty been adamant about shipping everywhere. Like we, but if you're in Nevada or the, on the West Coast. We can come and do a full service. We actually do the service for you. We don't mind doing the service for you. We'll do a turnkey. But if you just want to buy the product, which we're big on selling the product, call me. You can buy it online at, at nevadabiohazard.com. Just hit the shop button, and we'll gladly uh, send you some. Okay, so we'll put your uh, contact information and stuff in the notes. If you can send that to me, we'll put it into the notes. Actually, I think you already did. Um, but uh, uh, people want to find out more, uh, make contact with you. Uh, what's yeah, the best way to do it? Um, uh, email me. I'm at Kenny Cottrell. I'm at, I'm at sales at Nevada Biohazard is my email address. Uh, follow me on social media, Kenny Cottrell. Follow me at, on Nevada Biohazard, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'm, pretty, I'm, I'm, all, over, I'm all over the place. Uh, pretty easy. Our company is pretty easy to find. Yelp, Google. Um, I, I respond to everything, or one, or one of our team members will respond to you and get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, our phone number is 702-747-4424. Like I said, at Nevada Biohazard on Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, and Facebook. All right. Well, it's definitely interesting. I, and I, I personally will, will dive and look into it a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, the, uh, you know, like you said, the ATP uh, meter um, – if that's reading, reading, that's the proof in the pudding. So yeah, and like I said, go on YouTube. Like I have videos from. Uh, I, I got. I, I shot the videos. Like I got like five videos or six videos of me actually going to random. Uh, uh, not random, but client customers. I've done a healthcare clinic. I got when we went to La Pisa, which is the salt spa. I've done uh, a residential house. I got at least I think four or five videos of us actually cleaning the product. And showing the ATP pass step by step, and I'll be happy. To, like I said, I'll be happy to see seeing the clinical trials, uh, showing you like what the research can do. And it's just, it's just an amazing product. I think more people need to do it, especially if the schools are just going to start opening back up. The, we don't want to make sure the kids aren't bringing, uh, you know, kids are dirty, so we make sure we're going to bring, uh, they don't bring back home, nothing home to the house, as well as we you know, protect the kids because like they're not going to be like, I can't, I can't. Uh, Promise the seven, eight year old kids gonna be wearing his mask all the time. I can say yeah. that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's great. Um, we'll put the your contact information into the show notes, and right. uh, uh, I appreciate your time. It's interesting stuff, and uh, um, I, it's, it's something that's needed uh, in this time for sure. All right, thanks a lot, and I look forward to uh, I, I look forward to saying I look forward to doing this again, and uh, let me know uh, when the next time we can do it. I like I. Definitely, definitely enjoy myself. Awesome. I appreciate it, buddy. Okay, everybody, you've been watching Clean Freak with Aiden Rigg. We had uh, Kenny Curtail, Director of Operations, the Nevada Biohazard DCOM team. And you can get a hold of them at sales at – what is it? Sales at? Sales at NevadaBiohazard.com. Sales at NevadaBiohazard.com will be in the show notes. You've been watching Clean Freak. We come to you every Tuesday, 12 p.m. Pacific. This is a special time. And until next week, everybody, I'm Aiden Rigg. Talk to All you right, soon. Have a great day, guys.